Because I don't know about you, that was fire. Oh my god. And I'm surprised that you would say that because uh, Jar Jar Binks is nowhere to be found. Jar Jar who? I can give a fuck about Jar Jar Binks! What's going on YouTube and what up to the, the Dragon, Dragon Squad. Squad? I am Ember the Blazed. And I am Glacier the Iceborne. And we are Reaction, Reaction Dragons. Dragons, coming to you live from the Dragon's Lair. And uh, Glacier, what's on the menu for tonight? Um, the highly anticipated um, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, the final trailer. Final trailer, as in no more after this. Yep, and uh, as you guys know, this channel is fairly new, so uh, me and Ember have already seen the other trailers, so we obviously would feel guilty reacting to it because we are 100% real. We don't believe in reacting, unless we're getting paid to do it. Yeah, I guess it would be called re-reacting. We definitely don't re-react. If oh, you're yeah. not a re-reactor, <laughs> definitely show some love down in the comments below. But um, yeah, I mean, we, you know, I'm not the biggest you know, Star Wars connoisseur. I don't know them all on a first name basis, but I have seen all the movies. Um, and speaking of which, the last one that came out was The Last Jedi. Um, what did you think of The Last Jedi, Glacier? Um, I, I actually enjoyed it. Uh, it had good epic fight scenes. I think I liked the first one that came out before that. I think it was The Force Awakens. Yep. Um, besides Han Solo getting taken out, that sucked. But at the same time, I mean, you could kind of see it coming. And what, towards that scene, you knew something was going to happen. Yeah, I knew he wasn't just going to walk up on Kylo Ren like that. And I don't care if they, they are father and son. Uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Force Awakens, what the hell are you doing watching this? But, uh, spoiler alert. Uh, they already knew their father and son. I already knew that it was not going to end well. I'm just walking up there unarmed to yeah. his son. And as you guys know, Ember, he obviously, like he says, he liked the movies not 100% that much. That's because his favorite character, Jar Jar Binks, was not there, which I'm sorry that he wasn't. Yeah, I'm sorry too because that is completely untrue. I don't really care for Jar Jar Binks. Um, I actually don't like him at all. What do you say to all the fans that said that, uh, or fans or Star Wars Mythbusters out there saying that he's the real ultimate Sith Lord and more powerful than Dark Vader? Um, whatever helps your pillow, you know, become softer at night. What you want to believe, you believe. Not to show any disrespect to all the Jar Jar Binks fans. You know, we see out there, not forgotten, all like uh, four of you. But uh, for the most part, Jar Jar Binks sets a hard pass for me. Um, but yeah, I know what this, uh, I'm actually excited. I actually like The Last Jedi. I know it was a very divisive film. But yeah, there's things about it that are kind of stupid. Um, uh, but for the most part, when you think, think about it, you know, the cinematography, the, uh, acting, and most importantly, those action scenes in space. I mean, all of it looked beautiful, especially the one scene where the one ship went light speed and crashed into the other ship as a sacrifice. That was just, that was, I never seen that before. That was, that was amazing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, overall, I would have gave you know the Last Jedi Dragon certified. Um, wasn't perfect, wasn't the best one, but uh, definitely wasn't trash like everybody was saying it was. Yeah. Um, so yeah, with this one, I'm excited. You know, J.J. Abrams is returning. Uh, Last Jedi was done by Ryan Johnson. You know, but J.J. Abrams did Force Awakens, so they brought him back to do the uh, Rise of Skywalker, and um, I think he's gonna you know tie a nice bow on top. It might be a little little sappy at times because it is the end. But I feel like for the most part, it's going to be an epic conclusion. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think so too. I mean, like you said, there's a lot of pressure on this one from, you know, from the previous movie that was made that, you know, it wasn't even made by him. Like you said, it was the uh, yeah, Ryan, Johnson. Ryan Johnson. And uh, I just think it has a great cast behind it. You got all, a lot of the original characters still here that are still alive. And uh, with that powerful cast and his uh, directing and also it being the final one, it might put the pressure on where he's going to deliver. Yeah, and I know it's going to make all the monies in the summer because it's coming on Christmas season, Star Wars that year, that same time every year, and they always just rake in the dollars. It's probably going to, you know, make close to $2 billion is my estimate. Um, but everybody's back. You know, you got Rey, you got Finn, Princess Leia, R.I.P., Carrie Fisher. Um, but, yeah, you got, you know, I don't know if Luke's going to be in it. Um, I feel like his voice, his, like, presence is going to be there, but technically he did die in The Last Jedi. Um, spoiler warning, of course, if you haven't seen Last Jedi... Um, what are you doing what are you, watching this? Yeah, what are you watching this? Go watch The Last Jedi. But, uh, yeah, you got Poe, who's, you know, one of my favorites. You know, he's a baller-ass, you know, fighter pilot. Um, very calm, cool, collected. Just like, you know, just like your boy Ember, the Blaze. Yeah, but people would argue and say, Ember, uh, you were in red. You, tep you look like a Sith Lord. You're probably representing all the Siths out there. While uh, Glacier is obviously a true Jedi, which well, I am. I don't like the fact that you're judging me based on the color of my hoodie. 
But hey, at the end of the day, if I gotta be the bad guy, like Scarface says, say hello to the bad guy. Guys, team good guy over here. Yeah. Not Chucky. But speaking of which, you know, shout out to the Dragon Squad out there. If you want to be part of the squad, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, hit the notification bell. And at the end of the day, whether you're rapping the Fire Dragons or the Ice Dragons, at the end of the day, when you're a dragon, you're, you're a, a dragon. dragon. Now, um, before we get into this, just one last quick shout out to our sponsors over there. Bet You Can't Escape Escape Rooms. Uh, it's a place to be if you're looking for a fun time. Check this out right now. Does your boredom and your need to be entertained have you searching for the next adrenaline rush? Look no further than Bet You Can't Escape. Three exciting escape room adventures. Three unique themes. Three different ways to find a way out. Do you have what it takes? Bet You Can't Escape. Tampa, Florida. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, as you know, the video doesn't do it as much justice without actually being there. Me and Ember have actually had the pleasure of doing all three rooms and escaping using our mind muscles, not having to go in pure dragon form and blowing the door off the hinges. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, have the handicap of, you know, being a dragon and all. So I really try to use my dragon brain instead of my dragon brawn. And, uh, Still a great time either way, but make sure to check them out, bayoucan'tescape.com, or just hit them up, 813-290-0009. It'll be in the link below. Down below. But uh, I'm ready to do this. No more delaying, no more waiting. You ready for this, Glacier? I'm ready for the Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker, final trailer. Let's go ahead and get into dragon form. Let the reaction begin. Lucas down. Oh, shit. Damn, she running in the bank. Woo! Got ups. Ray got scared. Feeling. Christmas gift to me, and I'm sure it was to you, because I don't know about you, that was fire. Oh my god. And I'm surprised that you would say that, because uh, Jar Jar Binks is nowhere to be found. Jar Jar who? I can give a fuck about Jar Jar Binks! He's like, you also gotta be sorry, because you know I'm your favorite character. You're so dumbass. But yeah, Jar Jar Binks wasn't in it, but 
You got Kylo Ren versus Rey in the epic, most epic battle ever in the rain. Round no, what is this? Round three now? I don't know. Do you think? Uh, do you think it will top the um, Obi Wan versus uh, Anakin here uh, pre Dark Vader battle? Um, I think so because the technology's there. J.J. Abrams is going to do his thing. I have a feeling he's going to stick the landing. And, uh, yeah, those epic war shots. Like, this is, like, you can tell this is the end of something. Like, this is the finale. I got the same vibes from this as I got from a uh, little movie called Avengers Endgame. Yeah, I'm hoping that, uh, you know how Snook or whatever got taken out pretty early and he was all talk? Yeah. I'm hoping that the Emperor uh, puts up a fight because he's definitely in a... Scary atmosphere, it looks like. I think he's got more uh, stamina, because if you remember Snoke, I mean, he was in The Last Jedi for all of, what, like, 10 minutes, and then he gets cut in half, and he, uh, that was it, he was dead. He was dead. But Palpatine, he's been around since the beginning, and he fell down that long-ass hell pit, and was still alive to tell about it. I think he's going to be, um, if he is in the movie, and not just, like, a voice or, like, a you know, fake out, then I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. And it's obviously not like that hell pit you see in Mortal Kombat where you're like, finish him, or like, oh, splat. Fatality. Uh, nope, there was no fatality for Palpatine. That rhymed. That did rhyme. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the ratings because uh, I think you guys know where we're going to give this. I'm going Dragon Certified. Yeah, it doesn't be uh, based off the trailer alone. This is Dragon Certified, and I'll be there, and I will uh, support and I'll be buying a ticket and watching it in theaters. Yep, the Force will be with me, and the Force is with this trailer. Hit it. As we said, guys, I hope you liked the trailer, too. Uh, leave us your comments and your thoughts, and uh, obviously like the video, because yeah. if you're part of the Dragon Squad, uh, like the community. Yeah, you gotta show love. You show love back. Make sure to cop the merch. Cop a dragon hoodie, whether you're, again, with the fire squad or the ice squad, just show some love and uh, send us some pics of those hoodies because I know you guys look great in them. And we'll go and give you a shout out at the end of a, uh, one of the many videos to come. Right, and as we said before, it doesn't matter what squad, squad you rep, whether it's the glacier or the fire. Um, if you're a dragon, you're a, you're dragon. a dragon. So thanks, guys, for uh, watching this video. Um, we're definitely stoked. We're going to see you this day one. Going to have my popcorn, going to have my soda, going to have some candy, and we're going to have some lightsabers, too. Yeah, some lightsabers. Yeah. Zhong, zhong, zhong. You, I might use the Emperor Electricity. Ah. <laughs> yeah, you wish you could do electricity. All you can do is just stupid little ice cubes out your hands. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, guys. That's the video, so until next time, we're going to we'll see, see you next, next time. time.